जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टार्टेड विद द ग्लोबल पोजिशनिंग सिस्टम एंड इन दैट प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द बेसिक जी पी एस सिस्टम बेसिक प्रिंसिपल इन विच आई टोल्ड यू टू लोकेट एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इन द स्पेस एट ए टाइम यू आर यूजिंग फोर सेटेलाइट एस वन एस टू एस थ्री एंड एस फोर to locate the satellite the individual point or locate the gps receiver in which s1 s2 and s3 are giving the distances where s4 is used for the removing clock errors so here it is required to understand the gps constellation as i told you gps came from the us and uh, that uh, is also called navstar that navstar uh, original structure is this in this diagram you can see that globe is completely covered by a group of 24 satellites and that combined uh, uh, constellation uh, combined arrangement of these 24 satellites make the gps constellation actually in this uh, in this diagram you can easily see that all the 24 satellites are basically geo satellites and because they are uh, located on a fixed place or uh, uh, with respect to the earth and that fixed place time zone is uh, calibrated with the satellite atomic clock so as per the gps constellation the nominal gps operational constellation consists of roughly 24 satellites and each satellite has a number on your gps screen and then uh, newer satellites have been sent up to replace the older one so that is a continuous process if, if there is wear and tear and if a satellite is going to in the expired age then a new satellite is going to be placed on the position of that satellite so that gps signal communicate information about the precise position of its satellite and the precise time of the signal also the each satellite orbit the earth in about 12 hours as i told you it is a meo it is a group of meo satellites and they rotate the earth around 12 hours and the satellite orbits repeat roughly the some uh, same ground track each day means uh, in some of the system they are using this geo satellite but in actual navstar in the navstar american gps system they are using this meo satellites and they are rotating the earth in the 12 hours so now the construction of the gps actually the construction of the gps is uh, uh, easily understand by this gps segment that gps segment is giving the information about the gps architecture actually gps having uh, architecture having a three segments and the three segments are space segment control segment and user segment when we are talking about space segment space segment actually having the satellite on the board means the satellite which are orbiting the earth and transmitting timing and ranging messages another one is the user which is located on the earth or in the earth atmosphere or it is also known as the gps receiver so basically that gps receiver is a handheld or the other receiver used to interpret the message broadcast from the gps satellites so these are the two individual uh, parts two segments one is space that is in the outer space and user that is a another in independent user but you have to control these both by using the gps control segment that gps control segment actually monitor the health and position of the satellite in the space segment and transmit correction information backing up to the satellite means which satellite is working which satellite is not working what is the position what is the satellite health conditions health conditions means the temperature the velo velocity the orbital location that are all the points which are related to the uh, satellite health so so the combinedly these three segments are going to define the gps segment and that gps segments going to give you a complete uh, view of the gps uh, coordinate uh, gps architecture so whenever in it is going to be asked that what is basically gps segment so gps segment is basically the combination of space segment control segment and user segment user segment is the uh, basic gps receiver located on the earth or in the outer uh, in the inner atmosphere where space segment having the 
24 group of 24 satellites located in the MEO orbits and the control segment is located on the earth surface that are going to transmit and receive the receive the data from the space segment to continuously monitor the health and position of the satellite in the space so this is the gps architecture then gps receiver it is also because in uh, when we are talking about the construction <laughs> control station is somehow related to the uh, earth earth station as you are designing that uh, um, satellite earth station the same uh, uh, arrangement and the same structure is uh, have to be followed by the gps earth stations gps control stations the another one is satellite satellite is the, uh, in the outer space and that satellite construction is already we have discussed because a satellite is actually having a transponder mainly and other than that there are various subsystem of a satellite in which aocs attitude and or orbital control system ttcm power batteries antenna that are the various subsystem of a satellite so these are the two parts means this uh, space segment and the control system but when we are talking about the user segment as uh, we discussed in the previous one uh, dbs tv or uh, the dth or vsat we understand one point that there is a set top box in the uh, in your room on which you are getting the dbs tv signals similarly for locating the your device your object or your vehicle on the map google map or on the gps map you have to make a specific receiver which is uh, composed in your handheld device or in the vehicle and that is only going to help you to locate the gps satellites so that gps receiver construction is have to be understand and that construction have basically the receiving antenna then low noise amplifier down converter intermediate frequency amplifier analog to digital converter digital signal processor and then microprocessor and the display so basically how it is going to be work receiving antenna that is actually working in the receiving mode and that is only getting the messages from the gps it is not sending back any other information then that receiving antenna giving that data to a low noise amplifier where noise uh, is minimized and signal is you know, am amplified then a down converter means a combination of lpa and L uh, hpa then there is uh, they are going to generate a intermediate frequency on which this gps receiver is going to be work and that intermediate frequency is uh, going to this analog to digital converter because the another remaining processing where display and other the processing part is going to be done that is in the digital form that's why this analog information is converted into the digital one so one by one you can understand the working of these points that receiving antenna receive the signal satellite signal and it is mainly a circularly polarized antenna so you can understand that it is a circularly polarized antenna then a low noise amplifier that amplify the weak received signal because low noise amplifier actually amplify the weak signals only and it does not uh, did not amplify the noise level then a down converter basically down converter converts the frequency of a received signal to an intermediate frequency signal so that it can be processed in the further then intermediate frequency amplifier to amplify this intermediate frequency then adc so when we are talking about the adc adc is basically analog to digital converter that perform the conversion of analog signal and which is obtained from intermediate frequency to digital and assume the sampling and quantization blocks are also present in adc means when you are talking about the uh, adc part it is actually you can uh, see that it is basically a pcm system as in pcm system you are going to use this uh, pulse code modulation in which uh, you first of all you are performing the sampling after performing the sampling you are going to perform the quantization in which uh, you are going to round off the sample value as per the given levels of the signals and uh, that is going to compare the uh, they giving you the quantized out output and that quantized output is going to be encoded in the digital form then there is a digital signal processor that generates the c by a code because in the gps receiver this c by a code is used for the uh, uh, civilian application whether when we are talking about the military gps uh, locator 
then uh, there is a p code dsp is used to generate the signal then it is there is a micro microprocessor that microprocessor basically perform the calculation of position and provide the timing signal signals in order to control the operation of another uh, digital blocks and it also send the useful information to the display unit in order to display it on the screen so combinedly these things are going to make a gps receiver so in summary when you are talking about this complete gps system you have to identify some points first of all whenever this question is come you can find out various kind of question in the uh, regarding this gps the first question is what is the basic principle of gps receiver so always understand out of 24 only four satellite are used for the 3d representation four satellite but when we are talking about the 2d it is three satellites out of these four satellites actually you are going to use three satellite to measure the distance and fourth one is for the clock removal of clock error from where this clock error is coming actually this clock error is coming due to the atomic clocks of the receiver which are calibrated with the standard time zone on the of the world various sections time zones so there is a offset means there is a offset means there is a difference between the gps receiver clock and the satellite receiver the satellite uh, gps satellite clock so that offset or time delay is going to be make a, a error and that error is actually identify or removed by the use of the fourth one satellite so by that you can understand the gps basic principle then after locating the three distances you are going to make a sphere and the point where that all three spheres are going to intersect each other that is the position then you have to acquire the gps location or to find out the position to find out the position you can understand that a signal is going towards the satellite and you are going to follow some steps as per the signal acquisition process and you are going to locate the gps satellite after that you have to understand the gps uh, segments that segments are basically these segments that space control and user segment and then the gps receiver that is located on the object or the vehicle so that is all about the gps receiver and uh, sometimes the question is uh, asked by a uh, university in the individual form or sometimes just they are talking about a sem uh, uh, short note on the gps so you can write down as per your convenience and as per your uh, knowledge which you can recall at that time then after this part we are going to locate the fourth one and the most important part of this satellite communication that uh, how you are going to send the satellite into the space so when you want to send the satellite into the space you have to understand various points we all started this uh, uh, complete satellite communication part with the kepler law that kepler's law state that there is a elliptical orbit of the satellite in which uh, the satellite is uh, moving around in a elliptical path around the larger body and when the larger body is located on the one of the two foci of the ellipse so that was the kepler part then the second part of second law of the kepler was planetary motion that was the period of uh, sorry uh, law of area and the third one was is the law of period so that was the kepler's law by following that kepler's law we came to the newton's law of motions in law of motion we have three points that if any uh, object is moving or in stationary then it will remain its in original state until and unless a another force or outer force is act upon that means if someone is moving it will come to continuously moving towards the uh, direction uh, whenever uh, uh, till then uh, the another force is act on that particular object so similarly the second point was f is equal to ma that was the uh, second uh, uh, newton's law and third one that point is used for the satellite launching and that point is 
एवरी एक्शन हैव ए इट्स इक्वल एंड अपोजिट रिएक्शन मींस इफ देयर इज अ बलून दैट बलून एंड यू आर टू इफ यू ब्लो इट अप देन व्हाट यू विल सी वेन एवर यू लेफ्ट दिस बलून ओपन द एयर कंप्रेस्ड इन दिस बलून विल केम आउट थ्रू दिस आउटलेट and air flow is in the this direction and balloon will move in the opposite direction means this is going to show the third law of the motion of the given by the newton and that same law is going to be used for the satellite launcher other than that this law you have to identify some points that earth has its own gravitational field gravitational field gravity force and due to that gravity whenever you throw anything in the space or in the upper side that will came again to the down to the earth so in this complete structure or for the any object located in the space each and every planet have its specific gravitational force and as per that gravitational force if velocity is defined which is called escape velocity it means anyone if throwing a object in the upper in the outer side with the escape velocity then that object will cross the gravitational field of that planet it means that escape velocity is depends upon the gravitational force applied by that planet so as per the gravitational force applied by the planet earth or the moon or something else this escape velocity values are different for the earth this uh, uh, escape velocity is 11.2 km per second whether for the moon it is quite less and it is around 42.4 km per second so this escape velocity is very much required to launch a satellite because your satellite launcher have to Uh, oppose that gravitational force of the earth to place the satellite in its orbit after that another two points are orbital velocity and the height of the orbit now you have to also identify the satellite orbit because if you are launching a geo satellite you have to place that side, uh, satellite on the height of 3500 uh, 35798 uh, kilometers Uh, so that is the geo satellite height similarly the orbital velocity is also equal to the orbital velocity of uh, rotational uh, velocity of the earth so rotational speed of the earth so that's why the orbital velocity and height of the orbit are the another two important parameter which are used at the time of satellite launcher so these three parameter are the main part which are required for the satellite launchers when we are talking about the satellite launchers actually these satellite launchers are of various type as you know that india is using pslv and gslv these are basically polar satellite launch vehicle and geo geostationary satellite launch vehicle so you can easily understand that these both satellites uh, sorry uh, launchers satellite launchers are actually the vehicles on which you are placing the satellite on the top of the uh, uh, top of the rocket or you can see that that rocket is going to help that satellite to achieve the escape velocity so that it can cross the gravitational limits of the earth and can be placed in the orbit so these pslv and gslv that is used by the india that are basically extended launch vehicle when we are talking about that vehicles launch vehicles they are of two type one launch vehicle is which is just a rocket a satellite is placed on the tip of that uh, rocket that going to the rocket is going in the outer atmosphere the rocket will be worn out and the satellite will be placed in the orbit but when we are talking about the another one that is the re reusable launch vehicle that is coming from the space act technology in me it means you are using a launch vehicle which which go into the atmosphere place the satellite then again came back to the earth 
for the next satellite launch means the same launch vehicle can be reused again and again but in the extended launch vehicle you are just you you can use that in one time only so this is all about the satellite launchers so in the next lecture we will discuss more about this satellite launchers and i will give you the details of these elvs and rvlvs so thank you